That's all right, Todd, what is going on in the market? Well, thanks, Mike, and thanks, everybody, for joining us. Today, we're going over the market stats for the week ending Monday, March 13th, 2023. So let's get into those numbers. Across the board, 78 days closed on market. Our date month supply is at 2.16. Our absorption rate at 46.34. Average list prices are just under 770,000. Average sale prices have climbed to 524, and our list price to sale price is at 97.2. Taking a look at active inventory, we're sitting at 15,252. Our pending units are up, that's a good sign, 4262, and closed units for the month of March at 2,052. Looking at the New listings taken, 1,910, obviously short of our number. Days on market for active, 100. Days on market for closed, 78. Our price ranges are you know, moving around still just a little bit. Uh, and, and it's coming from, again, the under $500,000 market. Because if you look at the properties that have been selling recently, they've been properties in this predominantly in this price category, it makes up 57.69% of the entire inventory of, of armless. Uh, our $500 million price range takes up 30, just under 32%. So that's climbed just a little bit. And of course, when we add our million dollar and up, which jumped a whole percentage point uh, over the last week. Uh, and again, remember, these things change based on just what took place this last week. Not, you know, there's no big momentum unless we're doing the month end numbers and you're looking for month over month and you're like, oh my gosh, look, that's really, really moving. Uh, but these are important slides. That's a great slide to send to your, you know, put on Facebook, uh, put on your website, uh, hand directly to clients at, at first meetings or, or uh, listening meetings. And then the analytical person, when you find that person, this is a great slide for them. Uh, this is our spreadsheet. And of course, it allows us to look week over week, month over month, and year over year, just quickly at a glance of each of the topics. So we start off with 1,910. You know, I would normally say this is horrible. Uh, back looking at 2021, it was only just under that number. Uh, 2022, we took 2,300 listings. So to be quite honest, it, it, you know, this, this market has all of the signs of being better than 2022. And, and yet I know amidst all the, the, the negative information that we're hearing, but overall, it's a great real estate market when you look at the stability of real estate in general. When you take a look at the number of listings, month supply, if it's between two and a half and three percent, and you take a look at the average days on market, and they're about 70%. You take a look at list price to sale price retention. It's somewhere close to 97.8%. And then you take a look at new listings at 2,400 units per month. That is the sweet spot of Arizona real estate. If you're going to say, well, what are you using to determine that, Todd? I can tell you the numbers that I have in my database tracking back to 1994. So this is very, very statistically uh, sound. We have great uh, economics here in, in the state of Arizona, you know, our GDP. Uh, Tina Tambor constantly talks about how Arizona is way ahead of the other states. So that being said, you know, when you look at these numbers, I'm still showing you the peaks and valleys, the ups and the downs, uh, the market trends that are good, the market trends that are bad. But overall, when you're communicating with the consumer, if you can explain those five sets of numbers, and why they're good uh, and why the market's stable and why we're back to a four and a half percent appreciation again and and you know the prices have already reset that's that's people should be putting their houses up for sale we're going into that market too uh we're just getting ready for the summer market taking a look at inventory at 15, right, yeah, two, yeah 15 252 uh coming soon's at 540 the Single family detached at 12,087. Uh, new home construction is the same. Didn't move this week. Uh, Non-distressed at 15,205. So the, deck, the the constant chipping away, the contraction of the inventory is something that we just have to maintain. Yeah, twice, three times the inventory that we had last year, the year before. But again, don't allow that to, uh, you know, give you improper hope. Uh, 4262 is the number of people that are actually pending right now. 4269 slides your eyes to the right. We want to be somewhere about 5,500. That's truthfully that other number. If, if you have 5,500 average pending properties, you've got the demand in the, uh, uh, that we need. The benefit of this being a little low right now is our new acquisition listings are low and that's keeping the market stable. 2,052, just under what it was a year ago. Uh, slightly better though, if you look in a week over week perspective. Taking a look at month's supply, 2.16. This is low. 
Uh, so we went from a 2.73, which was in the sweet spot, to a 2.6, but it's a heck of a lot better than 0.75. Uh, we closed out last month at three and a quarter, which basically just meant that we were adding more inventory and we had fewer uh, buyers in the marketplace. And that's kind of been our trend. So we really want to see more buyers in the marketplace. That's what's going to change. It's going to turn this market just a little bit more. And hopefully, if we have people putting their listings on the market, uh, it'll work out. 524, 153. You know, I said it went up, but if you actually take a look at this number and slide drive, to any of the numbers to the right of it other than two years ago um, you know this is a lower number <laughs> so you know this uh, four six five sixty two was the average number back in february twenty two five sixteen five thirty nine uh, five twenty four so again this is a really sweet spot number the market is not going out of control we are not necessarily in a multiple offer scenario unless you either create it or you're in a particular uh, local hyper local market that demands it hundred days on market like we talked for active 97.2 that's the number we're a little you know it's creeping up the right direction 97.8 is the sweet spot so it looks like everything's good this past week i don't have any really great insightful things other than talk about people getting ready to put their properties on the market for uh 20 you know for this for the summer months because that's really what's happening um the summer months are uh, going to be taking over quite shortly and uh you know you if you if the consumers aren't going to put their properties on the market if they really don't know what's going on and they cannot listen to state number to just state gdp numbers right. and they can't listen to the government numbers either thanks mike all right, Todd, appreciate it as always. Great information, and you'll be able to find these slides on the dashboard later on this uh, afternoon. All right. We're